I am going to admit to you this next story is a little bit confusing. The story is about a Montana Republican lawmaker who seemingly suggested during a floor speech that she'd rather her daughter kill herself than transition to being a trans male. Now, the confusing part of this is we don't know whether this woman's daughter actually is trans or has expressed uh, symptoms of gender dysphoria. We, we just don't know because the clip is confusing. This is state representative from Montana. Carrie Seekins Crow doesn't say her daughter is trans, but says her daughter is or was suicidal for three years and that she would rather her daughter be suicidal then um, do the emotional manipulation that I guess she considers claiming to feel as though you're a different gender would be in her mind. It, it's definitely disgusting. It's obviously uh, the type of thing someone who shouldn't be a parent says, but it is a little bit confusing. Let's listen. One of the big issues that we have heard today and we've talked about lately is that that without surgery, the risk of suicide goes way up. Well, I am one of those parents who lived with a daughter who was suicidal for three years. Okay. Someone once asked me, wouldn't I just do anything to help save her? And I really had to think. The answer was no. And the answer was no. <laughs> there you go. I was not going to give in to her man emotional manipulation because she was incapable of making those decisions and I had to make those decisions for her. I was not going to let her tear apart my family and I was not going to let her tear apart me because I had to be strong for her. I had to have a vision for her life when she had none, was incapable of having none. So she doesn't straight up say my daughter expressed that she's trans, but she said it was an emotional manipulation. And if your child is suicidal and you call it an emotional manipulation, whether they're trans or not, that's really something else. And remember, these are the folks who want to decide who should and shouldn't be parenting children, right? These are the same folks who then will say, you know, I don't think a gay couple should adopt or shouldn't, or shouldn't be able to, you know, uh, work with a surrogate or whatever. These are the folks who want to tell everybody else how you shouldn't, who shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed to parent. This is like Westboro Baptist Church level stuff. There is something called narcissistic parenting, and you can Google this and read a lot about it. When a narcissist focuses their lack of empathy and their delusions of grandeur towards their child, that's narcissistic parenting. And sometimes narcissistic parents view their child as an extension of themselves of themselves. So therefore they say, well, the child exists for my needs. And therefore I'm going to say something like, oh, you're suicidal. Oh, you're saying that you're trans. That's an emotional manipulation. I'm going to decide for you this, that, the other thing based on what I think is best for me right now. Whatever the full details of this story are, a disgusting woman who no doubt claims to have the moral majority.